someone was sharing with me that they wanted to create a topic per student. A great way to differentiate. So with a topic per student, you can create differentiated assignments that's only assigned to that student and they have a topic just for them. So those little things that you find that you know that student's into or that you would want to extend or give challenges to, you can create assignment and assign it to just that one student on that topic. But of course, then you have to make a topic per student. So I added that to alicekeeler.com slash reusegc. alicekeeler.com slash reusegc is what I use as my hub to really manage my Google Classroom. It allows me to create assignments, auto grade, to create collaborative assignments, to do all kinds of cool things. So let me show you how I added that in. So I went to alicekeeler.com slash reusegc and on the spreadsheet, I'm going to find this menu up here at the top, or you can go to the add-ons menu and find it at the bottom. Now, this is an unofficial add-on. It's something I've created, and I keep adding new features to. It'll give you a warning that it is not approved by Google because I haven't submitted it. But it collects no data, no user data, and it's only giving you access to your own files. So no worries there. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the Reuse GC up here at the top. I'm going to show the sidebar. Now from there, I want to click on Assignments. And you can see I have a lot of different assignment types. What I do want to do right here is I want to show the roster. So when I click Show Roster, it is going to provide me a list of all the students in the class. These are not real students. And then I'm going to have to actually, this is a premium feature. So I'm going to come down here to premium. Now there's a lot in here that is not premium, but I do have a few things under premium. So I'm going to come on down to more premium features and this kind of helps me to manage and set up a class with the premium features. And you can see that I have topic per student, topic per student. So I wanted to show the roster and then topic per student. Make sure you have the roster. If you don't want a topic for certain students, you can just delete the rows. It's actually going to read whatever you have on this roster sheet and these names right here are going to become topics. So I'm just going to click topic per student. Okay, that's going and I'm going to come on over here. I'm going to come to the classwork tab. And you can see that that is what it's doing. It's now creating a topic for each student. There we go. Is that all of them? I'm going to refresh. So Lorinda was the last. Oh, yep, see, it's still making more. It's making one for each student on the list. So that was pretty quick and easy for me to do that. It's just right in the sidebar, and I click topic per student, and whatever names are on the roster it will create a topic for them.